We'll beckon the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So normally I get this video out really quickly when Doctor Who magazine comes out because I it's the first thing I read. It got programmed into me in 2005, probably 2004, I think he started with uh, uh, Rusty Davis was writing production notes. Now he calls it Letter from the Showrunner, I think. But it it uh, it was always the, my first go-to thing. One, it was very very well written and very very tight. If you enjoy enjoy this, can I recommend? And I know the 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 co-writer in this has been. And also to many people watching this video, uh, the writers tell. It's like this, put a whole book. It's really just fun, right? You get into Rusty Davis' personality, which I find quite quite an enjoyable thing to do. Uh, uh, but anyway, so uh, this week we had uh, uh, Nolly come out. So there was so much Russell T. Davis. I haven't even published it all yet, right? I don't know when this video is going up, but there's so much Russell T. Davis, right? Just so much. I haven't been able to get to it yet. So now, now we're, we're finally getting to it. I did it on my live stream. I'm recording this on Monday. On, is it Monday or is it Tuesday? No, it's Monday because I don't have a live stream. Live. My, my live streams are on Tuesday, Thursdays, Sundays, maybe Saturdays as well. If I'm in the mood. If I'm in the mood. If I, you, you, you can get get me get me ready in the mood if you want. Yeah, put put on something sexy, darling. That'll do the trick. Uh, or just saying yes. <laughs> I don't take much encouragement. Anyway, uh, 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 so finally, finally getting to this uh, um, uh, um, column, right? Getting to this column. And, and I, I was going to pair it up with another article talking about uh, introducing the the new executive producer, who sounds awesome, right? Sounds awesome, but awesome. But article goes on forever. But anyway, this one, it goes on for, uh, what, 15, 20 minutes? I think, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to make this video in of itself. I'll make the... Uh, uh, when I want to go over the article with uh, where the new producer is, and again, can't remember. Look, I, I I know many people's names. I just don't know his name. I got Rusty Davis. I got Julie Garden. I got Jane Tranter. I got Phil Coulson. Now I've got to remember somebody else. Come on, come on, come on. And I think I think I may I may if uh, uh, have a strong guess who, who will be the composer for uh, uh, season fourteen and the trailers. I think it's the guy who did them. If it's not Murray Gold, I think it's the guy who did the music for for Nolly, which I just finished watching last night. Freaking awesome! Absolutely love that. Anyway, I digress. Rusty Davis here talking about the teaser trailer, and boy, yeah, tease is the optimal word. He is teasing us. Oh my god, I, I'm just enjoying it. Right? Uh, uh, I just feel like I'm having an extended flirt right right now as as we as we sashay the way to uh, uh, the bedroom in uh, which will be uh, 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 November uh, you know and 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 you know seal the deal so I'm quite excited about it so there's a lot to talk about in this one so I thought I'd just make this own video as it said like share subscribe comment can you do all those things for me uh, if you can't do all those things can you hit subscribe I like that one the best if you can do more uh, 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 like that's also good can you comment that's great can you share look at the video no sign up my sub stack my email newsletter, the oh, which I put extra stuff in it, which is awesome. Uh, uh, Twitter, Twitter's going to have a lot of video content coming soon. They say Twitter Blue is coming to Israel. There will be uh, video content on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Uh, although I'm finding another social media is a lot of work to to, to uh, maintain. Anyway, uh, that uh, subject like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, if you want. I don't really post much there, but anyway, uh, 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 like, share, subscribe, all those things. Now let me hand over this from a live stream I did last night. I think I just said that. Did I just say that? I don't know. This is from a live stream I did last night. Let me head over to me for um, last night. Okay, fine. This was Doctor Who magazine. So, yes, there is much uh, 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 new Doctor Who news afoot, right? Oh, what's that, Leela? Tell me more, darling. Tell me more. Tell you, Leela, uh, uh, Perry, and Millie. I think they should... Uh, uh, join forces in some kind of super group, right? Absolutely. That's the thing. Look, Helen Bonacarta, she's just a li she's just got glam built in, in, right? She just got this glam built in. So yeah, it's very hard. Uh, I, although Gillian Anderson managed to get, get around that when playing Margaret Thatcher. Uh, all that here, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Gemma Redgrave looks more like uh, uh, Nolly. Uh, uh, I think she could get. I think she'll be closer. Uh, where we are? Fine, letter from the showrunner. Used to be called production notes, right? Now it's called letter from the showrunner. Let's say there's a lot of stuff, right? There is a lot of stuff in this one. Okay, Rusty Davis. Rusty Davis unwraps Doctor Who's Christmas Day teaser. Uh, can we? Could we? Should we? Okay, 
Everything he writes is great. Uh, release a trailer and have 11 months ahead of transmission on Christmas Day. Is that mad? Is that just ridiculous? But we decided that the, uh, that the fun outweighs the risk. Thank you so much. Because we love the fun. Right? We love the fun. The fun is that we miss fun. Oh, we ache for fun, Russell. That's why Rock Dog is good. I mean, even though it's a heart-wrenching story, it's fun. You like being around the, the, the way it takes you in and out of the narrative. It's just lovely. Again, it's really, really nice. I can't wait to see your uh, uh, Doctor Who. And again, it makes me really want to see a Rusty Davis uh, 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 biopic about John Nathan Turner. I think that would be the, any, uh, the, his rise and fall. Uh, uh, I think that would be fantastic because he, he was done badly by Right, then that'll be, yeah, and that'll be a. I don't know, can you do it with this, such a partnership with the BBC? Maybe, yeah, it's a different universe. Uh, wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. at one point, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. at one point before uh, Christmas, uh, before Christmas, Jane Tranter musing on Shooter's appearance in the Barbie trailer, bit odd, she said, uh, uh releasing a trailer now. For July, uh, uh, I said, Jane, our show doesn't go out until November. Oh, yes, she said, and we hooted. <laughs> I think it's weirder for July than it is November. Our trailer was created by Manic Lawson and a brilliant team at BBC Studios, uh, with the edit being done by Phil Ball. It went through a 100 different versions uh, uh, before you saw it. It went for a hundred different versions before you saw it. Too much, too little. Is that FX shot ready? Oh, well, listen, they were. Those FX shots are freaking awesome. Man. Loving Meet the Beat, baby. Um, or should we use a placeholder? Uh, a guest star dropped uh, at the last second. Ruth Madley uh, happily added. But then, uh, don't forget, warn Ruth, tell her, uh, let her know it's, uh, it's Christmas out or uh, it's secrets out on Christmas Day. A phone will go mad. It did. <laughs> I love that. Um, uh, at one point, we, uh, we've we been through so many changes. I said, Manny, uh, is this like Call the Midwife? Is, is it like some Call the Midwife? He said, oh, yes. <laughs> and we hooted. Uh, uh, there's a lot of hooting. Yes. Uh, the trailer contains zero footage, uh, uh, zero footage from Special 2. Doesn't say from uh, Special 3, though, right? Does it? Uh, well, it's got the what the hell is going on here? That must be special three. Ah, there you go. Um, uh, special two could air with no previews, uh, as it has an opening scene in a wide, uh, wide open air full of surprises, uh, which, which no fan or passers by saw. I can't wait to find out what that was, right? This is what we're going to talk about in a second. This, uh, this shot, this is apparently. Somebody famous. This is a big guest star. Who could it be? Now, uh, uh, one suggestion has been uh, uh, Hugh, um, Hugh Lloyd, is it? Hugh, Hugh Grant, not Hugh Lloyd. Uh, Hugh Grant. Um, could be. Could be. Uh, look, could be, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, John Hamm. For what I bloody know. Who knows? Who knows? I just assumed it was David Tennant for some reason. I, I wasn't, wasn't even looking. Uh, yep. Duh, duh, duh. Uh, well, it's not fun. Uh, so it's still a lovely secret. Uh, uh, I can I, I can feel that my uh, PR forces rising up to scupper my plan, and we got a long way to go. Although, uh, by the way, one thing I really liked about Nolly is that the second episode opens with her interviewing Howard McMillan, and she was the first woman to in, uh, interview the uh, a prime minister. And it was a really nice exchange. He said, you yeah, know, they didn't want her to do it. Uh, uh, I said, but you beat them. And yes, I did. <laughs> and that's Nolly, right? That's so Nolly. That strength of purpose and will. Um, and the uh, and Macmillan's like, well, good for you. <laughs> um, where we go. Uh, uh, although it's down to 10 months already. Hooray! Uh, so let's see. But for now, the plan is working. My, oh, let, let's do your plan. Okay, Russell, I like your plans. Your plans are normally good plans. Let's do your plans, okay? I haven't lost out from your plans as yet, as I recall. 
Uh, mind you, as I write this from the beginning of January, who knows uh, what we spoil by the time we read it? Oh, nothing is it. The trailer still contains secrets. There's no Patrick Harris's. Uh, uh, there's no Patrick Harris. Okay, there's Ruth, uh, and then there's uh, noble the noble Temple family uh, uh, in all their glory, and uh, Ronak Pataki as Major Singh. Uh, but hold on, wait a minute, who's that? The man with the umbrella with his back walking to the camera uh, 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 in, in the bright red shop in the rain. Who is he? Uh, that, that's a lovely guest star. Wonderful actor walking out, walking past unnoticed. Uh, wait and see. Okay. Um, those 60 seconds were originally designed to be a much larger 90-second trailer to go out after Power of the Doctor on November 23rd, 2022. A trailer for, well, uh, things that are still secret. That must be the spin-offs, right? They must be talking about the spin-offs, uh, uh, which I'm very excited to, to, to hear about. Um, but, like, okay. I mean, that's what I think. I think it, it's... Uh, 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 yeah, it's you know, but uh, we said no too soon. And all fairness, we realized this is Jodie Whittaker's night. And you know what? I hated the Jodie Whittaker era. Uh, um... I really did. I think it was the anti Doctor. I think it's going to be retconned away. I think when she fell out the TARDIS, she fell into like the toy maker's realm or something, right? And 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 that's why all the continuity is got is is, is out of whack. Uh, um, and and they get it's all about going to be breaking out of that or whatever it is. Uh, we'll find out. I, I think it's going to be very good. That being said, um, it is it was Jodas Knight. I do think he might might have been. It, look, is either being sincere or is like I don't want to be tainted with that garbage. Uh, I, I don't think he realized at the time. I certainly didn't. I don't think anybody realized how massive a gear change it would be having David Tennant arrive on screen. It was like within a week, Doctor Who had changed. Within a day, Doctor Who had changed, right? It was the, the experience wasn't negative anymore. This was the ultimate death. Uh, this was the start of the ultimate death of toxic fandom. Right, it was so it was like instantaneous, right? And that when they and then they instantly started complaining that he wasn't wearing Joda's costume, right? And like, yeah, right, yeah, no, yeah, it's for an in in story reason, but uh, uh, because uh, he does, it, he thought it, it, yeah, he already said it would look demeaning, it looked like he's taking the piss, right? And it looked like he was taking the piss when Sasha Dewan did it too, okay. Uh, but in all fairness, we were at Jodie's night. Uh, it's time for us to set, uh, step back so we can celebrate her along with viewers uh, across the world. <laughs> bye bye again. Best episode she did. I, I yes, but still unwatchable garbage. Uh, uh, but the trailer kept ticking away. I mean, if you just take out the Jodie Whittaker from it, it was much better, right? All the bits without Jodie Whittaker are, are nearly not shit. Uh, uh, but the trailer kept ticking away, brewing as though we were, uh, uh, um, as though we'd leave it uh, Easter Comic Con when. But then Julie Gunner said, Oh, come on, it's for Christmas, surely. Oh, thank you, Julie. Uh, uh, you're the best, right? Uh, it's a gift. Let people see. Yeah, this is why we want these three bloody back together Jane Tranter, Julie Gunner, and Russell T. Davis. Add a bit of Phil Colson in as well. Yes. We want the band back together because that sort of shit happens. I re still remember, right? I, I love this. Go to the Doomsday uh, um, commentary. or uh, commentary. Now, at the time, they used to put that out as an MP3 file that you could listen to as a podcast, that you would listen along to it, right? And it was, it was them talking about it. And they're arguing, right, when the, uh, um, when the doctor... Was uh, uh, disappearing from from uh, uh, Rose's reality, about to be separated, right? Uh, they uh, uh, that that he it, it, it did the doctor say he loved her, right? And it was Julie Garner said, "Yes, of course he she he did," and I love her for that, right? It's uh, uh, so I'm just happy the band's getting back together again, and I understand the doctor being in love is something that is really not Doctor Who. I, I, I get that. And I think really, honestly, I can't, the only person who has the talent to really do that is Rusty Davis. 
I mean, it was kind of cute when Paul Cornell did it in Human Nature, but it wasn't the Doctor, it was John Smith, right? Who was very much like Sylvester McCoy. But, uh, um, yeah, again, he's the, uh, I think the only person I would, I, I, that, who could possibly pull that off is Rusty Davis. And if he didn't like it, I get it. Uh, I, I totally get it. I For me, it was fine. Um, fine. They, uh, who's, who's smiling? What's going on? Uh, make them smile, says Julie. Yes, make us smile, please. We we, we need a look. Oh shit, we need we need a smile, you know. And look here on the bright side, I think the culture war is over. I think we've won the culture war, right? Picard is what nine days away, and I think it's going to be good. I I actually think it's going to be good. Uh, even then, that's not a, an easy decision. Even then, that's not an easy decision. This was the beginning of December, and believe me, every program wants it to have their own trailer on Christmas Day, especially after Strictly. Right? It's a battle pill. Uh, these slots are fought, uh, are fought over ferociously. Uh, ferociously, I bet they are. See, that's a great job in of itself, right? <laughs> um, so Lindsay Salt, the director of BBC Drama. Went into a fight on her mouth. Yay! And one. Thank you, Lindsay. You know what? It shouldn't have been a tough fight. Hey, do you want to everybody make everybody feel good about the BBC for a second? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, so the trailer went out, and I still wonder, was it right? Uh, we did. Uh, uh, we all did. We all did. Is that a job to worry? Too soon? Too much? Too little? Not enough? More? Always going to be more. Uh, um but then it aired and it got 1 million views on YouTube in a single day. Yeah, that's a result, right? I agree with you. It's going to be huge, mate. I'm telling you, this is going to be huge like you can't imagine, right? This is going to be the biggest hit on streaming. This is going to be huge, right? Um, it really will be. It's going to beat Game of Thrones. Uh, House of the Dragon. It's going to be a juggernaut. It's going to be uh, uh, Stranger Things. This is going to be massive. More massive than, than, like, okay, if you weren't around in 2005, it was, it went from, not, it went from being hated and, and, and laughed at, even though people liked the McGann movie in 96, but it went from being like a laughing stock. And nobody thought it was going to work, by the way, right? It, it, like, Michael Grade was like, what the fuck are you doing? Putting this front and center of the, of the schedules. You're going to look like a schmuck, right? Uh, 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 yeah, like, what are you doing? Like, nobody thought it was going to work. And then it was huge, right? That's, I think that's going to happen again. It's going to be, it, this is going to be a watershed moment for streaming, right? And I think it's going to change things, right? I, I, I've said the way for a long time, the way forward now is we are going to get high quality drama again, but it's going to have representation. And we always said we, that was fine. Now, for me, I wasn't bullshitting. I actually meant that. <laughs> I'm like, I know, like, again, the fact that Bill was gay doesn't freaking matter. It was just a great story and a great character, right? Uh, uh, talking about Last of Us, it was absolutely great. Right. Um, I think this is going to be huge. Oh, man. Genuinely. Fine. Uh, what are we up to? Whoop, sorry, come back. Uh, um, uh, uh, that's a result. Now, a few days later, I was at my local New Jersey as a well faithful reader. You're a fan. You know the ultra uh, uh, heightened vision uh, you have for Doctor Who images across the crowded shop. Yes, you do. I agree with you. Right. Even in a blackout, even in an air raid, in a typhoon during an earthquake. Who vision? Yes, yeah, zoom in on my who vision. Uh, 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 who vision? Zoom in on my who. And uh, there it was, David and Catherine, uh, the Doctor and Donna on the cover of TV and satellite. The bloody cover, exact. Why? Because we're happy to fucking see them. God, the horsemen of the apocalypse are saddling up. Yes, we're happy to see David Bloody Tennant and the smiling Doctor Who that we all enjoy. Yes. Well, how weird is that? Oh, man. Uh, 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 that the image must have been chosen long before our trailer was scheduled, but it proved to me that we uh, we were right. You were right. 
You were right. Doctor Who is in the air. It is. The, the instant David Tennant appeared, everything changed. And we were happy to have it back. Like, the British probably didn't realise they didn't have it, but they knew they had it back, right? It, there's, there's this happiness about it. Uh, and it's just, that's just true. I don't know what to tell you. Right? And you put those two on a cover with a big Doctor Who thing, you're going to sell more. Yes. Why? Because people like these people, right? Oh, my God. Um, now Doctor Who's in the air. What is it? There we get the camera back. Um, doink. Doctor Who's in the air. Uh, the, 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 the title is glittering and the promise is leading us forward. Lovely. Onwards. Yes, lovely. I oh, really nice. <laughs> yeah, no, honest, and again, I think he's going to be as good as Tom Baker. I really do. I think he's going to have such a unique performance that you can't, you, that it's going to be hard to imagine a different doctor by the time he leaves. I think he's going to have a really iconic performance, Shooty. My name's Sheila Beck, and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. <laughs>